Getting ready for a lower body quickie. You won't need any equipment for today's session. Just a little bit of space. And we're working today with reverse lunges, changing the depth of your typical reverse lunge. So we're going to be reaching to or towards the ground. So let's just start with a quick little warm up. Feet hips distance or wider. Lift your chest, pull your shoulder blades down your back, pull your belly in and up to neutralize your pelvis. One at a time, knees up into your chest. Now you could just tap the outsides of your thighs or grab and pull. But whatever you do, try not to round your back. So keep that length through your spine, keep the neutral pelvis, just start to get a little bit of blood flow into the lower body for five, four, three, two, and rest. Arm shoulder height, chest lift, shoulder blades down the back. Again, that belly in and up. Leg as straight as you can get it to your opposite hand, to or towards your opposite hand. So don't lower your hand in order to touch the foot and try not to use momentum. Try not to lose your focus. We're gonna switch. So we're doing same foot, same hand in three, two, here we go. So it's left to left and right to right. Finding a focal point out in front of you. Keep breathing. Leg as straight as you can get it. And think of it as a lift instead of a kick. For four, three, two, and rest. Hands to your hips, last piece. Hip circles up, around, and down. And you can do some really big ones like I'm doing or some smaller ones. Just play with the size and the speed. Those hips moving a bit. We're gonna reverse direction in three, two, come from behind and down the center. Keeping the length through the spine, focal point out in front of you. Five more seconds, four, three, two, and rest. Come to the front of your space. We're gonna start one leg at a time, just your right leg, reverse lunge. But as you lunge back, I want you to reach your fingers towards the ground, bending the back knee, and then trying to touch the ground alongside your front foot. Are you ready? I'm not gonna count for you. We're gonna go 30 seconds, right leg only, your pace. Three, two, here we go. Find a focal point on the floor, maybe two feet out in front of you. Because if you look straight down in front of your foot, you're gonna round your spine a lot. I want you to keep as much length as you can through the back. Remembering to bend both knees. A yoga lunge, the back leg is straight, but a fitness lunge, it's bent so you can engage more glute. You have five, four, three, two, rest, shake it off, get ready for side two, left leg leads in four, three, two, here we go. Left leg lunge, reach to or towards the ground. So if you really have to round your back or struggle to get your fingertips to the ground, just reach towards the ground. Looking at that focal point, two feet out in front of you on the ground. Heart rate going up yet? You got it. You've got less than 10 seconds on this side. Four, three, two, and rest. Shake it off. We have 10 seconds, and then we're going to alternate. Just for 30 seconds, right and then left. Find that focal point. Keep the belly in and up. Breathing is steady. You ready? Three, two, here we go. Right and then left. So if you need to slow down or go slower than I am to stay in control, do that. If you can move more quickly than I am and maintain good form, maintain control, by all means, speed it up. But it's not about how many you can do. It's about how well you do them. So it's that MRAP with good form mentality. Not about how many, but about how well. In three, in two, relax, take a break, shake it off. You've got 10 seconds. We're gonna do the same thing one more time. No big deal, right? You ready? Three, two, here we go. Alternating legs, reaching to or towards the ground. So we're not doing anything crazy here, but I'm sure with lunges, you're used to lunging with your shoulders over your hips. 
and not going down that low. So maybe you're noticing, or maybe you'll notice tomorrow, the difference in where you feel these. So you've got a lot less quad and a lot more glute. 10 seconds, stick with it. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Now we're gonna work with a little bit of balance here for our last piece of today's session. Going back to one leg at a time, doing that reverse lunge on the right, touching the ground. And then as you come up, bringing that knee into your chest and squeezing, just like we did in the warm up. So you got a little bit of balance involved. 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left, a little break, one more set, good to go. You ready? Let's do it. Right leg reverse lunge to a knee grab in three, in two, here we go. Now that focal point is gonna change because as you pull the knee up, you're gonna look straight up at the horizon. So not on the floor any longer. I want you to find as much length through the spine as you can. Stand up as tall as you can and pull that knee up. Pause for a breath to challenge the balance. You have five, four, three, two, rest, shake it off. Ready, side cue, three, two, let's go. Left leg reverse lunge touch to a knee grab. Looking at that focal point, two feet in front of the foot for the lunge and then bringing the gaze straight out in front of you at the horizon for the knee grab to allow you to stand up taller. You got it. Steadily for six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Take a deep breath, shake it off. One more round. This is it. Are you warm? Ready? Let's start with that right in three, two, let's finish it. Best set yet. Reaching two or towards the ground, squeezing the knee in. If you can speed it up with control, go ahead. But it's not about how many, you know the deal. It's about how well. 10 seconds to go on the side. Finish strong. Four, three, two, shake it off. Side two, last round. Three, two, kick it, left leg. Reverse lunge touch to a knee grab. Finding that balance. Steady and strong. Steady breath. Steady pace. 10 more seconds. Don't quit now. Right through that finish line. Six, five, four, three, two, rest. Nice work. Finding a focal point out in front of you. Take your right foot in your right hand for a quad stretch. Knees towards each other. Belly in and up. Take a breath and switch. Find that focal point. Left hand, left foot, knees towards each other, belly in and up. Take that breath and release. <laughs> nice work. This can stand alone. If you don't have much time, you wanna throw in a little lower body workout, go ahead. If you want a good warm up before you do some weighted legs, perfect. Or if you just wanna add a little lower body kick to a cardio day or an upper body workout, whatever you need, Try it. There'll be plenty of other lower body quickies and other quickies on this page for you to try out. And if you like this type of movement, try TF30. What is it? You'll have to try it to find out. I'll see you right here very soon.